Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a bit about the, how to set up a, a new menu for our site. As you may have noticed, we haven't changed the menu yet and it's still the default one. So we're going to change that. Let's go into the admin panel and then into appearance and menus. Here we'll have to create a new menu, so we have to add a name for it. You can name it as, as you want, but uh, let's call it menu, uh, main. So create menu. So here we will have to start inserting links. The home page um, and uh, the home link, uh, which is this one here, it will always be there. So we don't have to create it. So then we can, the, there are a couple of uh, links that we can add. One, ones are like custom links, the other ones are pages, so the pages that you uh, that we created uh, and the other ones are categories. So um, let's start by um, adding maybe categories. So let's say that we want to add um, fantasy and shooter and we click add to menu and they will appear in the menu here. Uh, but let's, uh, let's say that we want them as a drop down. So maybe we want the header category and then uh, we want these two different options uh, to drop uh, to be a drop down menu so uh, for that we will have to create a header so we go into custom links and the url we don't want it to link to anything so we just give uh, the the option hash so if you click hash basically so if you insert the hashtag basically it means that it won't link to anything so when you click on it, nothing will happen. Then the label, which is basically the name, uh, categories, or maybe, yeah, categories is fine. And then we add it to menu. So as you can see here now, we will have the category, categories um, header. So we want to add, add this one as a drop down, right? So we have to drag and drop it underneath. So as you can see here, uh, we just create um, a drop-down menu. So uh, before um, doing anything else, we have to select the main menu that we want. Uh, obviously, we just have one, so we create, we select main, and we click save. And we also click save menu, so this menu is saved. So now when we go to our back into our theme and we refresh, we should have, as you can see, our new menu created. And we have a drop down, as you can see, for the two categories. So these two categories now works. Like if, if we cl click on it, it will go into our category page. See? Um, and if you click on category, nothing will happen. No, it will go nowhere. Um, then you have, uh, depending uh, which page you create, and you will, you know, you will create more pages in the future then you'll be able to also to add them from here. So basically you just have to select and you add to menu um, and then you just have to save the menu and the page will appear. So at the moment we haven't created any page, we just have this sample page that you uh, receive once you install WordPress. So you refresh and it will appear here. Uh, the only um, thing that you should know is that you can have more than uh, more than one level drop down menu so you can maybe uh, give another level here but it's not supporting the theme for now uh, I may do in the future update but for now it's not supported so it will still work but it, will, it won't, good, it won't uh, look very good so we just did it now just for you to see how it will look as you can see it's like second drop down so so it's not supported yet so uh, I would suggest just to have one level drop down um, is better so let's refresh this and there you go it looks very good okay well I will I hope you it's clear enough uh, and I will uh, see you in the next tutorial